I told you guys I'd show you the garden. Here we go. I have uh, some cleanup work to do around it, but this is two weeks in. You can see that this is the zucchini. Uh, there we go, we're back. So you can see zucchini, you can see uh, tomato. Over here you can see zucchini, tomato, squash. Actually squash is the far one. This is two weeks in. So squash, little tomatoes, squash, zucchini, tomato, zucchini. Up here we got one, two, three, four peppers in the back. So way in the back are pepper, 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 pepper. In the front we have tomato, boom, 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 uh, pepper, 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 tomato, tomato, pepper. Down here we have pepper, pepper, pepper. And over here we've got cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. So that's where we started so far. I'm going to plant some of, uh, yeah. I had to keep the animals out. So what's crazy is the first two years I had a garden out here before COVID, all I did was do this. I just put the stuff up here and I had no problems. I had a you know, garden with a lot, of, a lot of great vegetables going. And then all of a sudden last year, for whatever reason, the ground squirrels came out and the ground squirrels, the ground squirrels basically eat everything. I, I replanted my garden like three or four times and I tried everything and it just didn't work. So this year, I was like, you know what? The tomatoes, they pretty much leave alone. The hot peppers, they pretty much leave alone. Um, but they absolutely love the bell peppers, the cucumbers, the uh, squash, and zucchini. They go after it big time. So what we decided to do was put the, uh, get the troughs. So they're like, they're, sh they're, they're shallow troughs, not big deep troughs. And fill it with dirt clearly there and then put the vegetables inside and then put the wire around because I don't want to kill I don't want to kill the drowned squirrels I know that was not really I wanted to do so my choices were to either try to eradicate the ground squirrels which were not was not in the plan or to keep the animals out which is what we've done here so this is only uh, two weeks in these two are going slow I just added some I just added some fertilizer to them and some uh, some fresh compost Everything else is growing pretty good, actually. It's growing pretty quick. Uh, that's tomatoes, that tomato plant already has tomatoes on them. There's some, a couple that have peppers on them over here. My, one of my jalapenos right there. That, looks, that one looks really good. There it is. Already has jalapenos on it. I zoomed in for you. So it already has some jalapenos. And what's crazy, see these ones in the back? These, these older looking kind of like those pepper plants way in the back. I've had those for three freaking years. How crazy is that? Three years. So yeah, the owl. The owl helps keep some of the birds away. This is my outdoor, my outdoor composter right there. So out of the bottom will be the compost, and you fill up all the organic matter in here, and it's basically becoming compost. So there you go. That is my garden. You guys wanted to see it? Not as big. I'm thinking about maybe adding. Oh, let me have my grapes. I've got three uh, grapes here, Thompson Seedless. So they're all growing. In fact, you can see. They're coming here closely. You can see the little grapes already kind of showing up. Look at that. Those are the grapes already showing up. Yep. So I might add one more. I might add one more of these. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. If I find some, if I find some, uh, if I find some more vegetables I don't have in here, I might add one more trough right in here. But I, again, I haven't decided that yet. And then up top, I have my herb garden, the lettuce grow. The lettuce grow unit is my herb garden. We're up above. Any questions, guys? So I'm gonna flip this around. Any questions? As you can see, down here is where we do all the work. And right here is where I can, I can still reach in, no problem. I can still get everything in here, no problem. But at the same time, the squirrels can't get in. So that's the idea. That's the good news. Get the squirrels out and the rabbits. There's rabbits around here too. But I'm not so much worried about the rabbits than the squirrels. Oh no, I guess. Everyone's talking about Tamara being in Charleston. Yes, she is. We're missing her here. Any more questions, guys? How do I get started planting crops? Okay. The kids do help. They haven't helped yet, a lot yet because we just kind of put it in. Um, but um, let's see. Oh, my house. So the backyard, we're sitting, we're basically facing southwest, which is a good way of 
of getting um, things to grow. So, uh, so I've got a question here. Okay, let's see. I love garden. Any fruits aside from grapes? Yes, I've got a le two different types of lemon trees. I've got a uh, key lime tree. Oh, uh, it's small, but it does get key limes. I have strawberries. I've got blackberries. And I've got an orange tree that's giving me a couple of oranges and avocado. Um, how do you start planting crops? Well, you got to have good soil. Good soil. And a good location that gets sun. You want to have a lot of sun. And obviously water. If it's herbs, you don't need as much sun. You want a little more shade. So that's the idea. Yes, these things can climb the fence if I want to. If you're going to grow something, what's the fastest? Yeah, bell peppers are right here. I got three. I got red yellow green bell pepper i got all three that's kind of cool um the fastest thing to grow with your boys i would say if you have a zucchini grows really quick and there's tons of zucchini zucchini if it's grown well and has enough water you're going to get more zucchini than you're ever going to want in your life it's going to be insane i water everything at least once a day maybe twice i do not have a peloton bike i'm not sure why that was a question See, love the rock wall. How do you start tomatoes plant? How did you start your tomatoes plant? Uh, watermelons are amazing. I would love to grow a watermelon, actually. Okay, the tomato plants were about that big when I grew up. Well, they're about that big. They were little. Well, my finger size. You go, see. They're about that big when I got them. And now they're... So that one there is probably about doubled in size. That one's more than double in size. Um, I would love... Yes, cherries do grow here. I do have a peach tree. Uh, I didn't start any from seeds this year, um, and uh, I'm trying to get this. My phone just went dark because I'm out in the sun. Let's see. What I'm, I'm do 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 deer eat our vegetables? Nope, they can't get in here. What up, Healdsburg? I can fit one more thing in here. How long does it take to? I would love to grow a pineapple. Um, how long does it take? I'm growing a banana. I'm growing a banana up there. You can't see it's around the corner from this bush. Uh, how long did it take to do this garden? It took me about eight hours. I had a buddy of mine helping me. We had to clean it all up, get it all done. It took about eight hours to set this whole thing up. Uh, let's see what questions you guys have. What up, Santa Rosa? Can you get it, uh, tomatoes to come plants come back every year? Yes, you can. Okra and kumquats, no. Don't have okra kumquats. What up, Barbados? Thanks, guys, for the for the, for the the garden. I'm looking at your guys' questions here. I'm showing the picture of the garden as I ask questions. Let's see here. Uh, the bugs. Well, thankfully, we don't have a ton of bugs around here. Um, yes, everything I use is organic. This entire garden is organic. Um, and I had a garden growing up. My parents had a garden. My, my grandparents had a garden. So I grew up with a garden. Uh, everything in here is organic. There's nothing that's not organic in, our, in this garden. The, the compost I've taken from here and also the composter inside that you guys have seen in our kitchen. So everything is, uh, it comes that way. We don't use any poisons of any type. Do not have figs here. Uh, Chloe can't get into it because the fencing's up. <clears throat> Watering uh, maybe twice. Uh, we, once a day for sure, tw uh, sometimes twice. And yes, so the, so one, of these, one of the tomatoes is cherries tomatoes. Oh, I do not have any artichokes growing. Um, do not get a lot of snakes, thankfully. I have seen some, but I put or this organic snake by kind of pellets I put down and around. They kind of help keep any snakes away from the garden area. Um, and snakes don't like wet ground, so I keep things wet where I, need, where I can. Here's the peach tree. I had a bunch of peaches on this last year. I had like four, believe it or not, in this little tree, and the kids picked them before they were ready. This is my key lime, which I get tons of little key limes off this thing. It's a miniature. Over there, I've got blackberries, a lemon, and the, the avocado. Over here is another lemon tree. I'm going to go in the shade so I can see you guys' comments. There's a pizza oven from Forna Piombo. There's a, i got to replant my, that's my herb garden. It needs to be replanted. I'm just waiting. Uh, for it to come in to replant us from those are the winter herbs that are all done the new ones from spring are coming in and i'll have those all ready to go Let's see i'm uh looking at your guys comments here 
I don't have any organic onion. Nope. No onion, but there's the lemon tree. That lemon tree puts out lemons all year round. It's insane. I see Shishi's on. Shishi can vouch. And over here, in this whole spot right over here, I've got a banana tree growing. So that'll be cool. Then over there is where the, again, over here is the blackberries. They're thornless. And then we have the avocado tree. And then we have another lemon tree. So that's it. Are you, let's see, I'm going to flip this around so you can see your questions. I answer your questions. Okay, it's here. What was that? Um, you have to make a live making pizza. We have. Uh, Chinito79, we've made pizzas live several times. We're going to do it again here when it gets warm. Uh, yeah, I mean, the lemons, the, 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 the aromas from the fruit come from the lemons. The lemon blossoms are unbelievable, for sure. I'm looking at you guys' comments here. Thanks for the... Oh, Don De Leon is on. Um, how do you make sure it's, you eat everything you make so it doesn't rot? Um, you pick it when you need it. That simple. Um, no new plants yet. I always end up adding some. Um, uh, Rosie gave me some beans to plant. So I'm going to be planting those. So I have a spot to put the, the, uh, the beans in. Uh, I am in Napa. What up, Don De Leon? Don is in Houston. Uh, let's see what else you got. Uh, chicken. I know I want chickens. What day are you going to cook? I'm cooking Monday and Wednesday this week. Monday and Wednesday. Uh, this old house, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm not a big persimmon guy. I'm just not. Shoot back now. Um, look at you guys' comments. How many acres are you on? I can't tell you that. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Key 3624, good luck on your uh, new garden. Uh, vibes, Shahabi, you're from India? Well, welcome. Let's see, what's the weather like in that right now? About 75 and a little windy. What up, New Orleans? I'm not sure what I'm cooking on Wednesday. I'm not sure what I'm cooking on Monday. I always kind of decide the day of. Uh, let's see what else here. You have a tractor supply with uh, baby chicks. Yes, I know the tractor supply, and I know I know I can get some baby chicks. I have number of places I can get them, but uh, I don't. I'm not ready for chickens right now. So and maid maids cleaning. Thank you. Uh, I've had Ethiopian food. It's fantastic. I really liked it. Uh, there's Ethi little Ethiopia in LA, so I've been there a few times to eat. Um, let's see, look at your guys' comments. Uh, what's going on? I'm, I'm gardener in Napa. Gardener in Napa. I'm just hanging out, man. Hanging out, working in the yard. People wanted to see how my uh, garden was looking like, so I showed that earlier. I see barn houses on here. Barnsy's working today. Uh, had to work in the yard. I haven't been a chance to do it, so I got home and started working in the yard. I've got that done well. So I got four different types of tomatoes I'm growing. Uh, my parents have their own garden. We don't have cows here. What up, Heredia 49ers from the Bay Area? I don't have a cold. Gardener in Napa, you had the best latte at Barnhouse. Thank you. We appreciate the support. The Eric, Eric and, the, and the guys and gals there are doing phenomenal. What up, SoCal? I see you guys on here. Uh, it's, the it's not really congestion. I'm just outside. I'm tired. Uh, but, you know, you got all the blooming going on, so I'm actually fine. Uh, Mitch Webster, I'm, I, I'm not watching Golden State because the Warriors just won about a half an hour ago. So, yeah, we're good there. What up, Ireland? What up, India? Anyway, hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. And I'm looking at all your comments. Uh, no, January is a great January. If, if you want to come in, well, first of all, Cooking Monday and Wednesday, and um, every day is an amazing day in Napa. Uh, I think you can come here any time of the year, and it's gorgeous. Uh, generally, January, February are the slower months. So January, February are the slower months. Look at your comments. Pollen is high. Yes, you are correct. What country am I from? I am from the United States. Let's see. Uh, what up, Jersey, Jenny? Uh, I think this hat's online. I love this hat. I think it's online. It's a flex fit. The weather in Napa is 75. So anyway. All right, guys. 
It is awesome talking to you guys on the Sunday. I'm going to post this. You can get a look at the garden. And uh, hopefully we'll see uh, you guys on Monday when we cook. All right, guys.